All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about image resizing. Start off with what is image resizing? Why do we need image resizing? How does image resizing work? And then jump into some coding examples. Okay, so what is image resizing? Uh, the basic idea is you make an image smaller or bigger. So here you can see a bigger one, and then here is a smaller one. And we'll get into details of how this actually happens. So you might be wondering why we need to do image scaling. Some of the main reasons is you want to reduce data. Um, it's good for pre-processing. -pre so if you have some certain steps, maybe you don't need quite uh, all of the large resolution, you could reduce it. Uh, you can also improve the resolution if you're trying to zoom in and it's too blurry. So there's different applications. So how does it actually work? Um, there's different methods to uh, resizing, and these methods here are types of interpolation. So you have the nearest neighbor, which is essentially choosing the pixel value that is closest to. You have uh, bilinear here, so you're, you're pretty much interpolating between the two points using a linear interpolation. You have bicubic, which you might fit a, like a polynomial function. And there's also a lot of different types, but we'll see it in practice when we get into the code. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna import some of the modules that we need. And then we have import uh, OS, import matplotlib.py plot as plt. Okay, I'm gonna call my function image resize. And then if name, equals main, and I'm gonna call my image resize function. Okay, so I'm gonna pass in my image root os.get uh, cwd, and I'm gonna have my image path equals um, os.path.join, and then I have my root, I have demo images qpic1.jpg, and then I'm gonna read it in. So image image is cv dot I'm read, and I'm gonna pass in my image path. And then I'm gonna do some conversion using the ct cv dot ctv color, and I'm gonna convert it to RGB. So cv dot color bgr to rgb and then what i want to do is crop out part of the image so i'm going to do image equals image and i'm going to i have some values that i figured out already so 286 to 345 and then 322 to 389 and then the third column will be the three dimensions will be the same and I want to get the height and width equals image dot shape. And this, I'll play with some scaling factors here. Um, so I'm just zooming into part of the cat. Uh, specifically, I'm going to get the eyes. And then the scaling, uh, what I'm going to do is see how the scaling works. Okay. But here I'm going to do scale of 1 fourth. And then I'm gonna try out different interpolation, uh, the interpolation methods. So I'm gonna put it inside a list and call it interp methods. And you can see the different methods when you type cv.inter. So you have inter area, you have cv.interlinear, you have cv.inter uh, nearest. And then there's a few more. You have a cubic, cv.inter cubic, and cv.inter the, the land sauce. <coughs> Can't really say this, but it's the one that starts with an L, okay? Land, land sauce. All right, so if I move on, I have, um, Gonna have some titles that I'm gonna do. So interp title. And then I'm gonna have area, linear, nearest, cubic, in quotes, 
and then the last one that I can pronounce. Okay, so those are four methods. I'm going to have my plt.figure and plt.subplots. I have two, three, one. So this is going to be the original image. And then inside my for loop, I'm going to show the different methods. So for i in range, and then I'm going to do the length of my interp methods. And then I'm going to do plt.subplot two, three, and then i plus two. Then I'm going to do my resizing here. So this is a part that we can see the different results. So I'm going to call this image resize, cv dot resize. And I'll pass in my image. And then I need to cast my dimensions. So I'm using the width and times the scale. So that's how much I'm scaling it. And then the second dimension is going to be int um, of the height times scale, right? So that's the new size. And then we have our interpolation. It's going to be the interp method and pass in i. Okay, so now we could do plt dot um, show and then plot the new image, which is the resize, add the title here so we know what we're looking at. And then lastly, we could do plt dot show to see the result. Okay, so if I run this, we should be able to see all four methods. So this is a picture of the eye, and you can see the different resolution. So the original eye, the area, linear, nearest, cubic, and the last one. So this last one actually does a sync function interpolation, and it's supposed to give the best result. Um, you can kind of see here the nearest is kind of loses this brightness spot here a little bit if you look at this area. Um, so if I if I don't look as closely, you might be able to see a little bit better. So if I look at it from this view, um, you can see the different results. The area seems to kind of blur out this bright spot, whereas the linear, these three methods here seems to have the bright pixel here more obvious. Okay, So that's um, zooming out. If I want to scale in, and if I run this, you can see that this is how it looks um, if it tries to make it clear. And you can see this one, the nearest and area seems to be more pixelized, whereas these three methods seem to be smoother. So depending on if you have like time constraints, you may choose one over the other. So it just really depends on what you're aiming for. But you can see for um, recreating a better resolution, these three actually works out pretty well, okay? So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.